Hello and welcome back to another Top Biz Guide tutorial. First thing that we want to do is navigate over to Timesheets from our left sidebar. This will open up the area where I can add, edit, and view the time cards for my employees. Now the first thing that I see is that I can filter the timesheets in a way that will best fit me when I'm looking at this. So if I want to filter by employees, I can do that. I could also filter by position and by names. I could also sort by first to last name, group by date, employee, or role, and also choose which columns I want to see or not. Now when going down to the actual timesheet, I see over here all the information that is vital, all the columns that I've chosen to be viewed over here. Now let's say I want to edit a timesheet. For example, why might I want to do this? If an employee forgot to clock in, or if they clocked in at the wrong time and it needs to be edited but they forgot to. There's a variety of reasons why I might want to edit a timesheet before conducting payroll. So all I need to do is go over to the relevant entry. And then for example, let's see this one. So I see Harper was scheduled for a shift on Sunday, July 16th, but I know that he didn't clock in. How do I know this? Because it says no show over here. Simply if I click on no show and then click on edit, it will allow me to add all the information of the shift. So if I click here nine to four, this will add the shift. I can also add in any unpaid break if I want to, cash tips or credit tips if you received, I can add that in and that will update the shift. So now if I click on X, I can see that the shift has been updated. Here we go. And it's as if Harper himself clocked in at nine for the shift and clocked out at four when the shift ended. Now let's say the employee wasn't scheduled at all. So I don't see a no show on the time card. I want to add a new shift from scratch. So I can click over here to add time card and then put in all the relevant information. So employee name, role, the hours that they worked, break if I want to, cash tips, credit tips if I want to, click on save. And it's very similar to what we saw with the edit process. It gets added over here into the timesheet for the relevant date. In terms of settings, if you want to change any settings, payroll settings, you can do quickly from here. Click on this pencil icon, it'll allow you to change the payroll settings. If you want to change overtime settings based on how many hours they get overtime, you can do so from here. So there's daily as well as weekly overtime that you can set. If you want to export any information of the time card, for example, right now as an admin, I edited a shift, I added a time card. If I want to see that activity, I can click over here and this will actually send me the activity of the time card. So if you have multiple admins working on the timesheets, it could be very relevant to send that information to make sure that everything is being tracked. Once I want to download the time card, I can click on download over here and then I can choose if I want to see a payroll summary or download all the time cards separately. So that's it. That's the overview of the timesheets, how to edit and add time cards for our employees. I hope you found the video helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you as always on the next video.